Still on security matters, Nigeria has been mad with insecurity in the last few years, leading to the death of thousands of people and displacement of many in different regions of the country. During the gathering of reporters attending the launch of the book, Anything and Everything Journalism, the role of media in surveillance and sensitization was emphasized as a key tool to help tackle insecurity issues. To discuss this, I'm joined live by the director, Center for Journalism, Innovation and Development, Akitunde Babatunde. Good evening. Glad to have you join me. Um, hello. Um, it's good to be here. Thank you for having me. All right. Now, the media is a key component in divulging information to the society. Now, with the current state of insecurity in the country, how would you assess the role the media has played so far? Um, um, I would like to say uh, this conversation that we are having, um, shortly before this, this, this show, um, you know, New Central has just showed us a lot of the, the happenings within the country, um, you know, giving us the true state of things. That is already one of the roles that the media has been playing, you know, bringing the news to the public, for people to know what is happening and also to, um, to show what everything, um, it's been taken by government and security agencies uh, for the public to also know um, what is happening. So that, that's to say that you know, we, are, we are taking the, the step in the right direction. Uh, but centrally, to talk about you know, the state of the Nigerian media in helping to report insecurity, um, I, I like to say that in the midst of very difficult you know, operating environment, the Nigerian media you know, have been impressive in the way... Um, in, in the way they, na they, they navigate um, the the process of uh, of reporting insecurity, um, you would you would agree with me that the over the past few years the, the media has been documenting um, you know attacks, um, the realities of victims that is citizens who have been affected, those who have been displaced, and also reporting activities of security officials that have been helping to combat the, 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 the insecurity. Mm. So it has been a very impressive uh, mood of work. Um, it can get better because, um, you know, we haven't recorded impressive, um, you know, uh, no, the security situation has not improved. So what that means is that there is still more work to be done by the Nigerian media. But I think at the moment, you know, independent professional journalists um, have been doing their best. If, if journalists have been trying to dig deeper into some of the issues you know, you know, that are dri drivers of insecurity and also the impacts of, of you know, counter, you know, uh, impact of all the activities that government has been doing on people. And I think that uh, it gets better from here and we continue to do what, what is best to do for the country. I, I hear you, Akintunde, but some media houses have been accused of bias, insensitivity, and also insightful reportage. What can be, do you know, can be done to address this? Uh, so, um, well, I, I like to say that there has been a, mis a mistake in the labeling of media in Nigeria. Um, we have blogs and social media handles that report issues on insecurity. Those are not, you know, the professional and credible media platforms that, you know, that has been empowered by the constitution. Um, to bring information um, to the public, you know, sphere. So we have to first, you know, ask ourselves, what kind of media are we listening to? Are we watching? Are we reading that we are tagging bias? I think that's one. Then the second point to talk about the challenge of disinformation, which is a very, which is a very important issue that is affecting media reportage in the country. Yes, we have to admit that there are instances of insecurity. Uh, sorry, disinformation, and there are challenges with you know the way that some 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 journalists report um, you know insecurity. Uh, but the leveling of reports that tries to set the record straight, and um, especially with investigative reporting, um, sometimes get tagged as bias, you know, by other institutions. Not necessarily because the the the, the, the reports are not true. But because it sort of, um, you know, expose what has not been, uh, what 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 is being, you know, covered. So that is also another, you know, instance. And centrally, 
we also have you know un unethical you know uh, you know performance by a few by a few journalists uh, who uh, who don't rely on the truth and the fact of the matter in reporting insecurity. And I think that's why it's important for the media itself to do a survey introspection and ask itself that whatever they are doing, are they you know reporting? Um, you know, in the interest of the public, because if it is, if, if any media organization is reporting, you know, uh, against the interest of the country and against the interest of the public, then that is not journalism. That is not media. That is something else. I don't know what name to give it, you know, but we have, uh, we have to admit to ourselves that the kind of media that helps to advance, you know, quality, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, you know, in inclusive development, um, you know, it has to be the one that, that is, you know, free of bias, or unethical reporting, and mm. that is that that is the kind of media that that I think we should we should promote in the country at the I, moment. I hear you when you talked about the need for the media to adopt what you call self, uh, you know, censorship. But beyond that, what other measures can be ad adopted to ensure the profession is upheld in terms of its ethics? Right. So I, I didn't say self censorship. You know, what I said was that you know journalists, you know, in media organization should have very clear ethical guidelines uh, when it comes to reporting conflict. You know, conflict is a very sensitive issue in the country. And um, a lot of time when journalists, um, you know, journalists who are, who are doing this kind of work, they don't have access to the right source to report issues around insecurity. So one is that journalists themselves need to know that this, this, this engagement is fought for the country. So they have to invest in understanding the real state of situation and also remove themselves they remove themselves from the bias from their interests from their sentiment and dig deeper into the real state of things that's one then we also have to talk about the the media organization because it is one thing for journalists to do the right thing and there's another for media organizations to invest heavily in training journalists on ethical conflict reporting you cannot just have a journalist who's reporting conflict and you are not taking care of them in you know their mental health their, you know their, their welfare and all of those things if you if you if you if you have journalists and you you allow you know um uh you know a, a, a quality working experience for them then you are able to properly guide them to doing the kind of reporting that would advance you know a, that would advance a, a better environment that, that, that would sorry that would advance you know uh, in a secured country that's the word then another another thing that I think we should do is that we need a lot more cooperation you know between security agencies and the media you know there, there exists a kind of a relationship where security agencies are just uh, you know they don't media don't trust them then you get to see a lot of clash in the way that reporting is done. Sometimes reporters or journalists have gone ahead to do uh, to, to dig deeper into the issues, and they want to get you know reaction or they want to get you know details about what is happening from government, uh, from from security institutions. They don't get feedback because you know there's just this this natural you know you know reluctance by a few institutions to just treat the media as just that. But I think we have to all agree that. You know, while security agencies are working day and night to secure the country, the media also has a mandate to report what is happening. So if we come together, if the media and security agencies come together, then it makes sense it would it would improve the way the media plays its role in you know in, in this in the society. And the last point that I would make is the fact that a lot of time the media uh, you know, very credible media organizations have conducted investigations and deep dives to give us the true state of things when it comes to this, you know, security state of uh, the state of security in the country. If this is one report that government institutions and stakeholders who are responsible for securing the country can use as you know the basis for their own intelligence work. You know, it, it is it it, it it has to be said that. You know, a lot of time when you pick up reports that have been, you know, professionally done by journalists, this can be, you know, the, the basis or the, the foundation of a lot of intelligence gathering that the security agencies would need, you know, in, in helping to solve the challenges. And another I'm point afraid is that's that the we most need we to... can take on the news. Thank you so much for your insight on the news. Akitunde Babatunde.
Thank you once again. Of course. Thank you very much.